mysterious mysteries, and secretive secrets, I have a ship to unlock via an achievement. I have the first layout of every ship except... Okay, yeah, just, just ignore that. I'm on a different computer than the last time. And I'm too lazy to download the other save from the Steam Cloud in order to keep continuity. But I have the first layout of every ship except one. The quote-unquote unidentified cruiser. And there are two different ways to unlock it. Either travel to a lost sector of the galaxy, which constitutes the ancestry achievement for the rock cruiser, or beat the game with type A and B of every single other ship. Oh my bad, excluding the Lanius cruiser. Thank you for your generosity. I'd still like to be young when I unlock the ship, but honestly I have no idea how to get to this lost sector, so I consulted my best friends, the FTL wiki. Ahem. A significant amount of luck is required to get this achievement. Apparently it's going to take either a lot of luck or a lot of skill, and um, as you uh, should know, I am um, slightly lacking in the latter, because I'm unprofessional. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm going to have to beat the flagship 16 times, it's going to take weeks, will I need to do on easy, will people care, will they notice, will I have to? The wiki article does point out another method that takes some luck out of the equation by removing the need for certain random events. You see, you need a crystal alien crew member to get the achievement slash ship, and the normal strategy for doing so would be find a random stasis pod, find a random Zoltan's research facility, and then receive the crystal dude. And from there you need to worry about getting the actual cruiser itself. Type C of the rock cruiser, on the other hand, with advanced edition content enabled, starts off with the crystal right off the bat. Oof, that relieves some stress about getting this video out on time. I don't have the type C of the rock cruiser. Enough stalling, here's the game plan. I'm going to play as my lovely little rock cruiser with the intention of working on the achievements. That's something I can actually aim towards that's not entirely based on luck. However, along the way, I will try to take a path that goes through the NGU rock and pirate sectors, since that's where the stasis pod distress call could happen. And with that we can get our crystal dude much sooner rather than later. The bowler with its crew of clay face, granite, and dirt will get to the lost sector. We will unlock the unidentified cruiser. The Rock Cruiser starts off with two different missile weapons, and that's it. These weapons would be useful for one of the ship's achievements, where you need to take down an enemy that has a defense drone deployed just using missiles, but as soon as we run out of missiles... Eh... The first battle was a bit awkward because of a teleport, but I'm glad they didn't do any hull damage. I decided to stop by this nebula next since it would slow down the rebel fleet, you know, you know more time to explore and... Oh my gosh, I have a defense drone. I didn't expect to be able to work on achievements this early. Let's go. Ah, it's such a waste of resources, but according to the achievement, the drone needs to be deployed. And I'm not sure if that means powered or not, but I'm too scared to aim for the drone system just in case. I'm different. Well, um, this is awkward. You see, I was trying to kill you, but I can't if you're not going to defend yourself. It's just not honorable. And I want to use your death for my own personal gain. Thank you. Honestly, I was in such a good mood after that, I didn't care we were caught without a shield for the next fight, and I didn't care we were caught next to a star. The next achievement actually does have to do with beating up the enemy crew while they're on fire anyway, and honestly, it's not so bad since the Rockman can't even take fire damage. You could say that they're, uh, stone cold. I'm sorry. We found a simple burst laser a couple stores in, so now I don't need to worry as much about my dwindling supply of exploding nerf darts, but I wasn't quite sure whether I wanted to sell my hull missile yet. In hindsight, I probably should have, but I wanted to hold on to it just in case it made a good third weapon later on. Hehehe, <laughs> we get to torture people more slowly now. <laughs> uh, okay, honestly I probably should have gotten rid of the- Wait, what the- I cannot upgrade my weapons fast enough. Shields took priority though, and we did get a nice little trade to upgrade our reactor at the end, allowing me to juggle some power for that second defense layer. Hmm. The next sector was a generic civilian sector, which is disappointing in trying to unlock the last ship, but it should still lead to a decent amount of scrap. And since the missile laser combo is working out, I'm trying to upgrade engines at least once before tackling weapons. And I'm even being careful to actually accept some surrender offers in case my missiles start getting low. You live today, rebel scum. Lucky for you, I'm a merciful idiot. Ah, maybe I should save some scrap to heal up. I'll, I'll upgrade the engines, but I'll hold off on getting the power. Hey, a red distress call that isn't a trap. Ooh. Nice. 
uh, fuel missiles and scrap, but also intruders. Hmm. It's like that one present someone brought to the gift swap. Thankfully, there's only one of them, so I'll just send my guys in there to pummel him. <laughs> oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is fine. By the time we finish this sector, we're actually more prepared for any future intruders because we picked up a new crewmate who is being held prisoner. You deserve a name. Mud... Man. <laughs> and I put him on shields this time. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a that's a funny joke for anyone who watched the last uh, FTL video, because I was I was an idiot then. I mean, I still am now, but you know, at least at the same time, I realized we had a ton of scrap, so I got the whole missile up and running again. Besides being halfway to death, this run is going pretty well. We don't even need to beat the flagship this game, and I'm already starting to feel overconfident about my abilities. Heh. <laughs> This does mean I'm back to being more careful about my missile supply, though. Okay, one last thing before the next sector. We found a fire beam at the last beacon, and isn't that really convenient for the other achievement about beating up the enemy while they're on fire? I sure hope I don't mess it up like an idiot. In the business we call this foreshadowing. Ah, uh, again, neither of these sectors are what, are what we want for the stasis chamber distress call. Uh, we want an NG, pirate, or rock sector. Two of those are hostile sectors, so I'm trying to waste my path on that. Come on, game. Please give it to me. We started off Sector 3 well by almost suffocating, and we're down to a need to warn third health, but... Oh crap, a teleporter. Um... Yeah, we have to... We have to kill him on their ship. Frick. I wouldn't go for him normally, but the teleporter is exactly what we need for the achievement. We were making some solid steps to unlocking at least Type B of the Rock Cruiser. From there, I'd have to play through the game again, just to unlock Type C and get the Crystal Dude, but you know, let's ignore that for now. I heal up slightly with a bit of scrap. I'm still not comfortable with only half health, but we still have some other upgrading to do. Ah, we can survive. We have to. We got to try out the Fire Beam finally on the next fight, and I even teleported over. The achievement was in my reach. But... I sure hope I don't mess it up like an idiot. It's not the worst mistake in the world, but I should have waited for him to come into the room then shoot the laser. Otherwise, he runs from the fire. The achievement was right there. It was in my grasp. For some reason, I forgot the fire laser didn't do any damage, so I was scared of firing and missing the achievement. With the enemy ship only having one health left, I rescued my crew and thought about waiting until the flagship to actually get the achievement. I could teleport one of my crew into the individual weapon systems where the enemy couldn't run away. I'm not saying that's the smartest choice, I should have taken much better advantage of the fire beam, but I was tired, okay? I spent the whole darn weekend trying to get footage for this video. Okay, okay. Do you guys believe I can do this? Cause I don't know if I can do this. I use what scrap I have to upgrade to three layers of shield. I might have to juggle power if I do any more teleporting, but I need the shield or else there's a legitimate chance that I could die and we're already juggling power between weapons, swapping the flak when necessary. I wish the flak didn't need three power. I wish I had health. NG, that's what we need, right? Oh, thank you. We might actually find the stasis pod there. My luck might finally be turning around. The universe just loves proving me wrong, doesn't it? Oh, a store. I did not find the stasis pod this sector. There wasn't much development at all, because I was trying not to die. I finished the sector back to two-thirds health, thankfully, and there was another laser weapon that I was considering keeping, but I like the flak too much, and I need the fire beam for the achievement, so... Uh, the next sector is Zoltan. Ah. Uh, no, no, we, we can do this. We can, we can still find the pod, we can still make progress on the achievement. We have time. We only have three fuel. We only have two fuel. One fuel. No fuel. Okay. Oh, frick. We really are going to run out of fuel. I upgraded the engines once more because I'm going to need that 45% dodge if I end up stranded in space. I'm stranded in space. Fuel. Stranded in space. Fuel. You know... I don't think a healthy ship would run out of fuel and missiles this often. Thankfully, we can take advantage of the teleport to help us. We can distract their pilots so they can't dodge our next shot. 
Okay, this is not good. Oh. Um. Oh, frick! Come on, repair the teleport, please. I... <sighs> okay. We lost two of our crew, Mudman and Dirt, because of my stupidity. I was, um, quite upset by this when I was playing. <laughs> um, maybe it'd be better to start over? We made it to the Long Ridge Beacon when I saw a pirate sector. Will this finally be our break? Will we find the Stasis Chamber? With only a couple sectors before the final battle, will we even have time to do the other part of the quest and get the ship? And even then, can we do it with just two, two crewmates? Ah, I was trying to get more scrap before going to the store in case I'm able to hire another crew member. Maybe I can get some from the distress call before I die. Uh, boom option, boom. Wait. Oh my gosh, the stasis chamber. Oh, normally I'd want the scrap, but this is entirely where we're playing the game right now. I'm going for it. I heal up to half health at the store, hoping to save them scrap for the final layer of shield for or for another crewmate, whatever comes first. At this point, I'm just trying to find the next location and trigger the next event. I accept one surrender that was offering me a Zoltan. Hopefully, one additional person helps. Okay, it's gonna have to help. Crap, I need to heal. Oh my gosh. And I only have one fuel. No, I... Okay, I can't fight right now. I need to find a store. I need to heal. I, I need fuel. But I can't jump away. No. 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 I... I... I refuse. That can't be the end. It's not... It's not going to be. Our job is to get that ship. We have dirt back, and I'm too stubborn to give this up right now. We are going to do this. The first sector was rough, but we built up a lot of scrap. I want to save most of it for the store and make some better weapon choices this time. I think the level 2 flak from before was a bit too much too early. I didn't have the resources to cover it despite how good of a weapon it was. The next sector? Ah, neither of them are what we want. I decided to go up because overall that path has more red and green sectors, what we want for the stasis pod. I did get the second layer of shield, but we still took some hits. Come on, I do not want a repeat of last time. I want to actually learn from my mistakes here. After dealing with a couple of Lanius, we finally made it to a store where I found a chain burst laser. I suppose this is my chance to try it, since I didn't get it in the last video. It could end up being amazing because how the charge time gets reduced to just 7 seconds after 3 shots. Like last time, I was, I was uh, a bit unsure about selling the hull missile. Uh, I'm really hoping my poor management doesn't come back to haunt me. Another Lanius got some scrap, found another store, and a crew teleporter. I'm so glad the game is making it easy for me to re-equip what I lost. Okay, now I hesitantly sold my hull missile so that I would have some extra scrap when I bought the teleport system. We can redirect power from medbay if we ever use the teleport, but I don't think it'd be easy to get that fire achievement without the fire laser though. Uh, especially with how many mistakes I make. A couple jumps away we actually got a hull smasher laser when we saved the civilian from Elanius. Another weapon that just requires two power. Uh, this is actually a decent combination for just the second sector. All I need to do now is get it up and running. We finished the sector a bit banged up and bruised, but the FTL gods shone down upon us. Oh. Heck. Yeah. The next sector was energy controlled. This is our first chance in this game to get the stasis pod. And we would be getting it much earlier than last time. Oh, please let me be lucky. There was a distress call teasing me, but... But it led nowhere. After that, I covered as much of the sectors I could, but... But nothing. I did get the flak up and running, but we're down to under half health again and again, and I'm getting some serious deja vu. The scrap I had by the end of the sector did provide enough to get the third shield, but I feel like I wasted that sector. 
Oh, a second shot and an energy sector. Oh my gosh, they really are teasing me. Oh, no fuel. Okay. I swear, if I make all the same exact mistakes for a second time, I'm going to punch past me in the face so hard that I'll still feel it now. Thankfully, we got enough fuel from the victory to make it to a store. Oh my gosh, two distress calls. One of them has to be it, right? It, it has to be. Please. It has to be. No, no, not giant spiders. Come on. Please. Yes, frick. Are we even in better condition than last time? I can't remember, but at least we got her earlier. Oh, this is going to be our chance. What? Oh. Oh my gosh. We have ruined the crystal dude. We're only four sectors in, and this is further than we got before. He says we need to take him to a wormhole hidden in the rock homeworlds. Ah oh, no. No fuel again? But we're so close to the exit. We wait, but no one comes. We wait again, and our patience rewards us. Okay, I'm lying. I wasn't patient. Blink and you might miss it. Unprofessional was trying to select the flak weapon by pressing the one on his keyboard, while at the same time the pirate tried to surrender. As a result, the pressing of the one key accepted the pirate's offer, leaving past Unprofessional in a confused state, not much different from his normal state of being. Honestly, it was probably a decent move in order to survive. Oh my gosh, the Rock Homeworlds. This is playing out perfectly. After all our work last game, now everything is just coming together on its own. The quest marker. Come on, no, I don't care about these fights right now. I don't know how much I can take. They surrendered, I'm accepting. Nah, stay out of the fight, come on. Reactivate it. Yes! Did we get the ship? I didn't see the notification. Oh no. No, we still have more quests to do. And now we're in the Lost Sector, the Crystal Sector. Okay, this first jump is a simple event. Please stay easy. The next jump is just intruders. This, this is fine. We have the people to handle this. Ah, we're down to one third health. Hopefully there isn't a fight at the quest. Oh yes, we did it. We have the Crystal Cruiser. We have every Type A ship. Thank you for watching. I am done playing FTL for a while. <laughs> I have played more FTL this past weekend than the entirety of last year. There were at least four other attempts I didn't show you. Honestly, there might have been more. I'm just forgetting right now. And don't worry, I didn't just give up the game then and there when I got the ship. I did keep going to fight the flagship, but I'm not going to show it though because, um, uh, it's not the point of this video. Yeah, no other reason. I seriously hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up or a comment. I'd, uh, I'd appreciate it. And subscribe. Do that too. That's important. But that's all from me for today. Uh, see you next week. Take care.